Hey guys, welcome to Shepherd's Hill Recreation Park. I'm going to give you a rundown of tuning Lyric Front Fork with the Shot Quiz. I've already done my baseline calibration. Start a new session by one, connecting to the Shot Quiz, deleting all previous. The important thing is to make sure shock travel is within 3% of normal and start riding. So we're ready to go calibrated. Otherwise you can click shock travel. So setting up, that's in the neutral position at zero to one percent so it's within the three so we're ready to start riding so with that all set up i'm going to ride the same trails today go home tune up my bike come back tomorrow and see if how close i can get it to a hundred percent dialed all right we'll see you soon so i'm out on the trail at shepherd's hill recreation park in adelaide's inner south so to start off with i've been trying to make this video for months i've been to craigburn farm i've been to o'halloran hill uh, out to Cobblers Creek, Shepherd's Hill multiple times, Eagle Park, and every time I've had multiple issues with the shot quiz. So I'll make another video to show you how to get a flawless tune first time and avoid the issues I've had. However, we're into winter, but we've got a nice bluebird day, ready to uh, really tune up this fork. So I'm 1.7 kilometers into Shepherd's Hill Recreation Park now. Really, it's all climbing up from the car park. And what the tune's saying is that we're at 49% confidence and uh, I'll show you the other stats of what it's recommending. However, until that confidence reaches 50%, and I'd say a bit more riding than that, you don't want to be uh, making any changes. It's wanting a rock garden, so that's why I'm going to give it halfway down, downhill one. So uh, let's see how that goes. So we're just going to go at about 80% of race pace. Just take it easy. And with this sort of hero dirt out today. All right, let's go. So that's one run down downhill one and my tune score check this out 92 percent tune at 100 percent confidence if you've seen my other videos you'll know that the more data you put in the more data it knows how to work with so what i'm going to do is ride to the top hit downhill three which has some um, bigger drops and uh, see what it says uh, at the end of that likewise moving between the tunes you can see different tuning scores depending on what mode you choose so if i go to say balance as you can see down below tuning score will drop and the recommendations will be different i'll go through how important this is later on but let's keep getting that good gravity tune all right we'll see at the top all right so i've just cut straight up the guts of the park and i'm now back at the top where all the downhill runs start I'm at 3.7 kilometers in. My shock quiz is unchanged, still that 92% tuning score, which is even on my other tunes as high as I've got it. However, I need to ride the features that I normally ride, including the drops of this trail and see if it makes any difference. I'll get to the bottom and then uh, we can tune up that low speed compression if that's what it still wants. All right, we'll see you there. Drop one. So we're back at the bottom of the hill in Shepherd's Hill, climbing to the top to go and hit those runs again. Still with a good playful tune, we've got a 92% tuning score, 100% confidence, and it's wanting low speed compression to be increased. Now, if you look into the further settings, that's by one to two clicks, which I've done, and uh, here's me tuning it up on a different ride, but doing exactly the same thing. After that, I've reset the tune. This is crucial. And we'll go through one of the pitfalls of tuning with this shot quiz if you don't make these little adjustments now. So I'm going to ride to the top of the hill, hit those two runs again, see if I get any more information. You can see a deep compression event. I felt that <laughs> as the shock bottomed out on the drop 
on downhill three. Let's see if the tune makes it any different next time. All right, we'll see you at the top. All right, so we're back at the top of Shepherd's Hill Recreation Park, going for run two. As you can see, confidence score is down after I've reset my tune. Um, however, it's wanting big hits and big drops. Downhill one won't really give you that. Downhill three will, but let's hit downhill one, get a bit more data for the shot quiz and uh, let it decide from there. All right, let's go. All right, there's another run down downhill one. And check this out, 88% and uh, a good confidence. So looking through the data, the shot quiz is wanting more low speed compression, uh, which we can give it after more, more runs, I reckon. Uh, and there's no deep compression events, despite that rip snort a nose guy we all just saw. All right, um, let's see how it goes after another run down downhill three. So here we are again at the top of Shepherd's Hill. The shot quiz is saying nothing new, just wanting more pedaling. So uh, let's hit downhill three, give it some big hits to, to think about, see how it changes our tune. All right, see you at the bottom. All right, let's start again because I realized I didn't reset. Crucial, every time you make those adjustments, fire up the ShockWiz app and smash that start new session um, icon. So as you just saw, I had to um, stop to remind myself to reset and start new session every time you make a tuning change to the ShockWiz. You also need to make a calibration change any time you change the spring ramp or the air pressure, so you've got to recalibrate. However, just starting a new session, that's my fourth run, so I've made that one click of low speed compression increases as guided by the suggestions. So let's see what sort of a difference it makes. As you can see below, you can also see the tuning score if you go for a more balanced tune. So there you've got an 84 score and completely different tuning recommendations. All right, so I've chosen the uh, playful tune or more aggressive tune from the legacy mode as I'm more interested in just the downhill as I'm happy to sit and grind in my eagle all the way to the top if it means I can play on the way down. That said, it doesn't mean there's not a time and a place for a balanced tune. I've run a balanced tune up at Eagle Park and it's allowed me to get through the rock gardens on the cross country circuit at speeds that I've never been able to get through before. So customizing a tune to your style of riding and to your local area's riding terrain will make all the difference and really allow you to get the most out of your shock. So I'll change my shock settings between different places I ride purely based on the information I'm getting from the shock whiz. So let's get to the top, see what it says after the low speed compression changes. So we're coming into run five down the hill today. And as you can see, the shock quiz has got no further information after that climb up. So we're currently at 8.6 kilometers of riding, and I reckon we're getting pretty close to those triple figures that we're going for. All right, we'll keep going and uh, another run down downhill one and see how it goes. So five runs into my session, and after the last reset, uh, before I just took that downhill one run, it was saying 49% uh, tuning score, and not giving me any suggestions. Now, I don't know about you, but anyone else using a shock whiz out there, hit me up below. My guess is that the closer you get to triple figures, the more data the shock whiz needs to give you um, adequate suggestions for your riding style. So I'm 10 and a half kilometers into my ride, and just hitting the same trails back to back to back. And uh, this is what I found up at Eagle Park as well. You, you just need to ride more to get more data. So I'll take for another run down downhill three and see what it says after that. And uh, we'll go from there. So I put in a few more miles. Check this out, 96% tune. The only thing to adjust is dial back that low speed compression, reset, and we're there. I reckon I'm getting close to that triple figures. So uh, let's just keep riding around Shepherd's Hill a bit longer and uh, see how close we can get. It's gonna happen, woo! Hey guys, I'm back at Eagle Park for an end of the day ride. Shock Wiz is 82% tuned, so I thought, and it's wanting big hits, big jumps. Gonna give it exactly what it wants to get to those triple figures. So I've just got a sort of gentle cross country kind of path, uh, just to hit the top of the hill. But coming up, you've got On The Verge. Um, oh, hello Skip. Uh, on the verge, which is a great uh, black diamond jump line. So I'll hit that and see what happens.
Hey guys, so I'm back from Eagle Park for my final tuning session with the Shock Whiz on the Rock Shock lyric. So where we're at is a 96% uh, tuning score with 100% confidence, which I'm really happy with on a playful setting. We've got perfect setting for the detections and two deep compression events which occurred on Hills Hoist, uh, Black Diamond Run. Of the suggestions, it's only recommending add some more high speed compression, but unfortunately this lyric only has low speed compression, so I think this is as close to 100% as I'm going to get with this fork. So where's the difference between my tune and what Trek has recommended? So number one, Trek recommended 65 PSI, however I'm running 62. Uh, with the adjustment performed just before this most recent ride um, and as you can see here this was the recommendation so a five percent decrease and it has made a huge difference in the amount of shock travel which I'm actively using. Second is a change to rebound so looking down here slowly over the period that I've been running this test which is approximately three months Trek has recommended nine clicks of rebound from full slow rebound, and I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. So, uh, quite a difference compared to what Trek has recommended to what I'm truly running, and that's based on my riding style. Likewise, over this period, I've been adjusting the amount of low speed compression I require. From the bike shop, we were running eight extra clicks of low speed compression, all which is based on the recommendations from the shock whiz. Other preset tunes include a balance ride. As you can see here, changing to a balance setup leads to a 92% tuning score, so a decrease, and suggestions which range from slowing down low speed compression or making softer high speed compression. So doing this will completely change the feel of the bike um, and may suit your purposes better. Balanced is not the only option, as it, every component of the stiffness and liveliness can be personalised to your exact riding style. Check it out, certainly worth it. Overall, it's riding so much better. I'm running far less pressure than I initially was. I believe I started at 70, and I couldn't be happier with my fork tune. Check out my other videos to guide you on how to get the fastest tune and most accurate tune from your shock whiz. Any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up below. All right, happy riding. See you soon.